Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake It's Me. Today is the Wednesday check-in. It is January 25th, 2023, and thanks for hanging with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe and then head on over to anchor.fm slash Hello Cupcake It's Me to check out the podcast and head on over to Hello Cupcake It's Me.com to check out the blog. Like and subscribe at both, share with everyone, and here we go. So, oh my gosh, the last couple of days have just been intense. Uh, Saturday, I was going to go and do some of my monthly shopping that I needed to do and just get some like incidentals, you know, like toilet paper and things like that. So, um, Nowhere in the weather report did it say that the that there was going to be any kind of bad weather or anything like that. So I was like, you know what? Fine, cool. Let's do this. Get in my little car and drive off into the city. Got a little rain here and there. Kind of expected because, well, it's Washington. And to have a day without rain before July is... a uh, damn near improbable so um but anyways saturday was just a gigantic shit show of a day um i drive 40 about 45 miles one direction to go to this one dollar tree that is typically like the mecca of all dollar trees in the area uh they have a really good uh arts and crafts supply section, they have good stationery section, they have a good food and just other stuff that like some of the other Dollar Trees don't have. So I was really looking forward to going to this Dollar Tree. Hadn't been there in probably four or five months, like since well before the uh, holidays. And like kind of hyping it up like yeah you know they should have some good stuff going on blah 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 get in there guys when I tell you it looked like a war torn village like it was so absolutely disgusting and everything was just disheveled and there were broken things on the shelves there was just like no rhyme or reason there was certain areas that were completely bare shelved and empty other areas were so like i said just disheveled that you couldn't find shit on there um the pet food aisle or you know where you can get toys and things like that was like almost completely bare the uh hardware aisle was almost completely bare it it was just disgusting like i walked in there and there was not a single area of that store that didn't have some kind of calamity. It was just unnecessary. I walked that entire store and did not buy a single thing. Like, that's how disgusted I was by it. So, after that, I decided, well, you know what, since I'm in the area, I'm going to go to this Walmart that I never go to. And the last couple of times that I went to this particular Walmart... They um, actually had some items that um, some of the other Walmarts didn't have. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to check that out. And I just realized that I was, like, really whitewashed. So I adjusted that. But anyways. Um, so, yeah. I decided that I was going to go to that Walmart. And found a few things that I hadn't found at other Walmarts before. And... I was like, okay, you know, this this is a good trip, and it wasn't really out of my way. It's like literally the one road in, one road out type situation, and it happens to be on the side of said road back out of town from that uh, particular Dollar Tree. So, go walking through there and get a few things, and then um, I go to leave, and it's fucking snowing. Now, y'all know how I feel about snow let alone having to drive in said snow or drive in said snow with 
Washington drivers who act like they've never seen a drop of rain, let alone a flake of snow. So, I was like, damn it. I ended up going to another Dollar Tree, and by the time I got out of that Dollar Tree, it was like really coming down like that, that mixture of snow, sleet, hail, and rain. And I was like, okay, well, I'm, I need to hit up at least two more places while I'm here. But I'm, I was hungry at this point, and I just had a few extra dollars that I could like swing by Burger King and uh, get some food. Now, here's a money t saving tip: if you eat out, especially if you go to like Burger King or McDonald's, download their app because they always have specials that far outweigh like anything you could find on their menu. Uh, in my local area, they have a special for two Whoppers, two small fries, and two small drinks for $11.99. Now, if you bought that same combination, it would be almost $20-something. Uh, there's also something that's always on my app for the Burger Kings in my area. You get four Burg or four Whoppers, four Junior Whoppers, four fries, and um, I think four drinks, or it's just the four, 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 and it's $20. Like, download that app. Same thing with McDonald's. McDonald's always has specials on things in their app and as you purchase things from McDonald's you get um, points or whatever and then you can utilize those points for free meals and stuff so like um, the cheapest meal that you can get with the points that I know of is the Happy Meal and that's like 600 points or something like that which you know if you're not eating a big if you're like not really that hungry or you just want something kind of small and quick you can get the Happy Meal, use your 600 points, and then add one of their $2 cheeseburgers and upgrade your Coke for a dollar. So for like less than $4, you can have the number seven. So it's like little hacks or whatever. But uh, definitely download the apps, especially Burger King. Sub Subway has some good ones every now and then. Like buy, buy a foot long, get a foot long free, or buy one, get one. You know, they have a lot of BOGOs like that. Um, but yeah, McDonald's, Burger King, and Subway are the three apps that I use the most. I have Wendy's on there every so often, but um, I don't eat there enough to like really warrant having the Wendy's app. I just happen to like open it up whenever I, d whenever the decision's made that we're going to Wendy's, I'm like, oh, okay, let's see what the app has. So, um, Jack in the Box has the same thing. Um, I don't know how good their app is. Taco Bell has the same thing, and so does Del Taco. Again, I don't know what their apps are like, but it's well worth downloading the app if you're going to go to a fast food restaurant just to save yourself some money. Um, I also use another app called Gas Buddy, and this isn't paid promotion or anything like that. I'm not being paid to like talk about it or anything like that. I'm just telling you like what I do to save money. Um, you can download the app called Gas Buddy, or you can go to their website, GasBuddy.com or something like that. I think it is, and um, you put in your area code, or you give it access to your GPS, and it tells you all the gas stations within like a five or ten mile radius and how much their gas is. So that can help um, save a lot of money too. And I use Gas Buddy quite a bit, especially when I'm going into the city. Um, I always check to see who has the best gas. Nine times out of ten, it's um, one of the gas stations owned by the casinos. They're typically almost two dollars cheaper than like Safeway or Arco or any of those other gas stations. Um, but it's definitely a good app to keep on hand and. Uh, you as the user, if you register or whatever, you can put in uh, gas prices. So, like, say you saw gas for two seventy nine, and on app, on the gas buddy thing, it says that it's three twelve. 
you could put it in and say, hey, no, this is uh, 279, and then automatically timestamps it so that other users can see, oh, yeah, today at 1245, it was two, 279. So, you know, kind of gives you a little bit of a insight for there. And then you can also break it down to cash, debit, credit, um, diesel, I don't think that they have uh, alternative fuels on there like ethanol or even um, I know that they don't have charging on there because it's literally just for petrol but um, yeah so just a couple of apps that I use that really help me kind of save a little cash here and there um, so after I got my lunch or whatever um, and I started getting back on it on the high on the highway. I wanted to go buy another Walmart, which was on my way home, and the one that I typically shop at. But it was just so horrible, like visual, like it coming down with the snow and the rain and everything, and the amount of people that don't drive with their fucking lights on. If you're one of those people, I seriously hope you stub your toe every day for the rest of your life until you die. And, like, just, and I hope your credit score falls. Like, I hope you can never get your credit score above 515. Like, you guys are the absolute worst. Um, here in the state of Washington, everything is green. We're usually under, like, some kind of cloud coverage. So if you have a black, silver, white, or gray car and you're driving your car with no lights on, we can't see you. Just because you can see doesn't mean everyone else around you can see. And when we're having torrential downpours up here and people are driving like that, it's like, you dumbasses. You are putting yourself and everyone else at risk of having car, a car accident. Because I was driving along, I went to merge over into the fast lane to get up and around some traffic and there was a truck in the fast lane that I couldn't see because it was black had no lights on and it was like raining and so my my side mirror was all wet and I looked over my shoulder I couldn't see anything back there and this truck's all beep, 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 and flashing its lights. I couldn't see it. So I was just like, you know what? No, fuck you. And just turning your running lights on or whatever, no. Turn your damn headlights on. Because that turns on your brake lights so that other people can see you. Like, it is so rude and inconsiderate and just horrible. So I, I'm done venting about that, but yeah. So then I get, like, within 10, 15 miles of my house, and the skies open up, and it's beautiful, like, a drop of rain has never touched the ground, nothing. But, like, a mile back from where, you know, this Valhalla had opened up, it was doom, gloom, and the end of the world. So I ended up coming home early, for no reason and didn't get a third of the shopping that I needed done. So guess who gets to go back out this weekend and try to do the shopping that he didn't get done last weekend. Um, but yeah, so there's that rant. Uh, moving on to like w my workouts and stuff that I've been doing lately. I tweaked my back somehow. It, like doing uh, some of the water aerobics and my back feels like it's going to like literally go out any day now and I'm not I'm trying not to talk that into existence but it is sore it hurts and it's skeletal muscular um, at first I thought it might be I don't even want to say the KS word uh, but I thought it might be my kidney stone coming back because it was the same kind of pain. But I noticed when um, I took muscle relaxers that it kind of made the pain go away. 
and it only like acts up when I bend certain ways where with my kidney stone it was a constant pressure constant pain and like everything else that kind of goes along with that so um, I've just been using Asper cream and I feel old as fuck saying that but the shit works that's one of the things I picked up at Walmart and it wasn't the name brand Asper cream it was the equate version but literally the only difference between Asper cream for $7.95 and the equate for the same size tube and everything for four four seventy three or some Walmart fraction was one ingredient and it was some sternic acid or something like that. I was like, uh, I don't know what the sternic acid is, but I'm pretty sure I don't need it. So, um, I got that and it has been working so well, especially on my shoulders. That's what I mainly got it for was my shoulder. But last night I slathered some on my lower back and within five minutes, I just felt my whole back go oh. like, oh, thank you. So yeah, I'm going to be buying stock in that stuff until I can get to the doctor and figure out what's actually going on with my back and see if there's something that they can do for my shoulders. Like, I need a full body x-ray, and I'm going to tell them that because the next time that I go in for my doctor's appointment, it's for a general uh, wellness checkup type of a situation and just say, like, I need both of my shoulders x-rayed. I need my right foot x-rayed because where my Achilles tendon is, it hurts so freaking bad. I rolled my ankle a while ago and it's just not healing. So every time I step down, it feels like needles are getting shoved up inside of that, inten or that tendon. And just have my back looked at again. I already have lower back issues. So, you know, having that looked at again shouldn't be too bad too much of a stretch but um you know whatever i'm just i'm tired of being in pain and with the amount of um exercises and stuff that i've been doing at the water like with my water aerobics and things like that i shouldn't be degrading i should be improving so We'll see what happens, but yeah, I've been having more and more problems with my shoulders lately, and I don't know if it's a rotator cuff issue, if it's um, that I'm out of alignment, and so my back is being pulled in a weird way, and that's affecting my shoulders. Like, if you look at my shoulders, they slouch down. They're not, like, straight across or squared off, so I, I just really have no clue um yeah so um there's that and then last night for trivia oh my god we i think we had our butts handed to us i haven't even checked to see like if there was any kind of um group text message or anything saying that it was um how we did but I think that we had our butts handed to us last night because yeah um, there was a couple of times where we were there was two three thousand points ahead of us so if we maintain our second or third position uh, that will be something to be seen um, I'm kind of checking it right now on uh, Facebook on my phone, but, um, yeah, so, there was that, um, uh, but, yeah, n not much above and beyond that, uh, north, here we are, let's see, I'm, six days ago, don't care about six days ago, okay, they haven't even announced our new winnings yet so whatever but um yeah so when i'm not doing that bitching about the weather bitching about traffic having to slather asper cream on um i'm working on doing my arts and crafts i'm working on a couple of new uh projects 
and I'll just show you kind of kind of quickly one of them that I've been working on that I'm still in the process of putting together uh, there we go so I'm do I'm making a dragon box right now and see how the eye follows you so yeah that's one of the things that I'm working on I'm actually working on like four of these at the same time so I got a certain I got a circular one, and then I got this square-shaped one. Um, this one I screwed up on the eye, but it still it still works, and I don't think anyone's really going to say much about it, not knowing that it's actually messed up. But yeah, so if I'm not crafting, then I'm playing my Nintendo Switch, of which um, I'm having a lot of fun with that. A lot of fun like I'm devoting way too much time to it right now but it's really giving me a good outlet for just doing something semi-creative and um, it's working like the brain cells and like having to do hand-eye coordination and all that other stuff so really appreciating that and uh, one of these days I might actually do a video where um, I take you along on a game session with me um, I gotta kinda figure out how to do all of that and um, what the logistics of that's gonna look like I might even do a couple of game reviews so if you decide to go out and get a switch yourself you can um, take a look at it but I just love the fact that there's so much downloadable content that is free or like really close to free. Uh, there was one game that I was looking at called Street Fighter and um, to buy it, the cheapest I've seen it outside of the e-store was $13.99 and at, on the e-store right now I think it's 8 or 11 so not much of a discount, but I'm one of those people that if it's a game that I know I'm going to like, I want to have the cartridge, which um, is like the size of a memory cartridge, just a little bit thicker. Like one of the memory things that you would put into your um, phone, not your phone, your um, camera, but uh, like an SD card, I guess. Is... Hello, sir. Um, so... Yeah, but I like having the cartridges and the cases and stuff like that so that you can see them. And um, I have a lot of downloadable content because it's like 60 free or I think the cheap, the most expensive game that I've bought so far was $8.99. And I have like a lot of downloadable game or a lot of downloaded games and I have six or seven actual cartridge games and I just rotate through it like depending on what I want to zone out on like right now I'm zoning out on uh, Super Mario Odyssey and um, I was thinking about it the other day and I have played just about every single Super Mario Brother game that has been out since the creation of Nintendo as a home gaming device and um, it was kind of awe-inspiring that like in the 40 years of my life that I've played almost every single Mario based game there is um, there's probably 15 if I had to count maybe about 15 that I haven't played but like Mario typing and stuff like that like I've never done anything like that but for the handheld games, I've played most of most of them, and uh, just seeing this new iteration of the Mario franchise was kind of cool and kind of interesting and a nice, fresh take and spin on the Mario, um, the Mario character and everything. Like, same premise, the princess gets stolen by the bad guy, you have to go find the princess and fight the bad guy and all of his minions, but the storyline is 
a little bit different. Like you have new power ups and you have new abilities and you have new weapons and this, that, and the other thing. So I don't know. It makes it fun for me. But anyways, guys, I'm going to stop with that because I'm going to start rambling and getting really geeky and nerdy and turn a 25 minute video into a three hour video of me just sitting here rambling on. So I'm going to let you go. Go check out the podcast, anchor.fm slash hello cupcake. It's me. Go give it some love. Go give the blog HelloCupcakeIt'sMe.com some love. Got questions, comments, concerns? Put them in the comment section down below. Hit me up at HelloCupcakeIt'sMe at gmail.com if you need to. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.